Wow, will Disney be forced to sell off Star Wars? Great question. Uh, I would never have thought it's possible, but it, maybe it's possible. This is coming from Itchy Baca, um, bleedingfool.com. He runs a great blog called Disney Star Wars is Dumb. You should definitely check it out. I'll have a link to it in the description. We will get into the article. Before we do get into the article, if you want to support me, collegeofthedead.com. College of the Dead Graduation Day comic book. Shipping now, full color, 48-page zombie apocalypse comic. And sign up for The Mermaids, epicmermaids.com. It's 48 pages, full color, really cool series. It's going to be like uh, Game of Thrones with mermaids. It's coming out soon. So this is what Ichibaka says. Um, that's what Disney Insider WDW Pro's latest information dump makes possible, if it's true. Essentially, COVID has Disney so strapped for cash that some are speculating that it may have to sell assets, including ESPN, A&E, History Channel, Tron, Tron? Tron? Or perhaps maybe even Star Wars. Star Wars? I don't know. The following was posted by WDW uh, Pro. So, wide world of Walt Disney Pro, I guess. Um, so this is an internal post. People like have lots of curious posts uh, about Disney. And this is uh, about cash strap Disney. Let me, so this is from WDW Pro. Okay, let me preface this post by saying I know much more than I'm going to say in this thread. That's just the way it's going to have to be in order to protect sources, prevent doxing, and keep jobs safe. Additionally, it lets those sharing info with me know that if something needs to be off the record, it will stay off the record. All right, that sounds credible. Okay. The Disney company is currently hurting for cash and not by a little. The absolute destruction of the global film industry means that Disney is losing billions and billions of usual expected revenues with no certain end in sight. That's completely true. Disney had a huge percentage of market share. Sorry, I don't have it up in front of us. But um, Disney was like owning the, the new box office market. And they were very well distributed in China as well. They were really in a great position for film. But film has now become a terrible business at the moment. Mulan has been pushed to the end of August, but even that still seems optimistic and less likely box office revenues, wow, maybe as low as 20% of what could have been. Yeah, that is probably true. A burgeoning Cold War with China likewise makes promoting the film an uncertain formula. The MCU is currently benched with, <laughs> that is amazing, with live action Star Wars uh, on pause. Indiana Jones 5 is more unlikely daily, and there's simply no good path forward outside of the animation studios. Disney is actually killing it with Disney+. Plus. It's worked really well for them, but that's a long-term play, really, for them. It's not something that's going to satisfy um, all of their overhead to produce movies and, and all the expenses and all the staff and, and all the money that they need to support the theme parks. The theme parks are all of a sudden not a viable business. It's been great for them for decades. All right, furthering the dearth of income, Disneyland was prepped to open uh, at great expense to reopen, only to be indefinitely postponed yet again. California just uh, postponed everything. The money to reopen Walt Disney World has been immense, uh, but with increasing infections in Florida, it seems more and more likely that increasing capacity will be a slow process, which means Revenues for WDW will be lower than projected when the rush was approved to get the parks open fast. Adding to this, CapEx projects, CapEx means uh, capital spend. So uh, a lot of money up front, investing in, say, buildings, uh, investing in theme parks and things like that, investing even in movies, that's capital expenditures. Uh, that It's money you spend that you expect to make back, but it's going to take a while to make it back. But totally normal for a company like Disney. Adding to this, CapEx projects needing uh, completing at uh, Walt Disney World are substantial more than ever in the past decade. Oh, boy. Conflict has broken out inside Disney's top levels, with some pushing for continued spending on new projects, such as Splash Mountain reskinning, while others are extremely bearish with a view that Disney should hold every possible dollar. I would do that if I were them. Hold every possible dollar because they don't know what the future is going to be. Why would you put more cash into the theme parks right now? There's no one who's going to see it. 
Everything gets old once you spend money on it. Oh my gosh. All right, you know, Disney's got some problems here. It is from within this paradigm that Disney is now struggling with public messaging not matching internal capabilities. For example, Splash Mountain changes were announced with little design ready to implement based off a blue sky design, meaning like just a, a big high concept, we hope we can do this kind of design, that had a concept art package quickly produced for social media advertising. Just one problem. The actuaries were not approached, nor were budgets forecast for the changes. The actuaries are the guys who actually look at it and say, okay, we can execute on this, we can make this happen. This is what it's actually gonna cost, like engineering. In fact, you might say a rogue committee approved the decision without determining the cost or feasibility. Uh-oh. And then the company realizes the issue after the public announcement. So what to do? Don't execute and fire those people, rogue people. Anyways, uh, as of now, the plan is to quickly change the DLR version, which is more likely to be received positively than use Epcot CapEx funds, big capital expenditures, that would have gone to Mary Poppins and J2 to change the superior WDW version starting in 2022 or 2023. However, hopes that Disney can plus the attraction are difficult to materialize with Imagineering already completely flummoxed. Uh, how they can possibly reskin dozens of animatronics in a crown jewel attraction. Yeah, really. How are they going to spend the money on that now? Where is it coming from? One Imagineer has compared the task to retheming Pirates of the Caribbean to a Jungle Book ride. <laughs> That's rough. Yet more attractions are likely to be modified. Budgets be damned. This has created friction even all the way to the Bobs, Bob Iger and the new um, Bob who runs things, Chapin, uh, or Chapek. With Iger doing everything he can to save his legacy while Chapek tries, it's the other Bob, to not be the fall guy while looking at a company in dire financial straits. Whereas Chapek wanted to spend the capital necessary to retrofit MK for pandemic and then slowly, Magic Kingdom, and slowly open other parks as demand and money permitted, Iger overruled the plan and pushed for a full reopening to prevent Universal from getting the upper hand. Oh my gosh. Now the company has greater inner turmoil than at any point in recent past. Spending is continuing in spite of depression-like revenues projected for the remainder of the year and often on new projects of social nature. Oh boy. Changes are upcoming to Hall of Presidents, Jungle Cruise, County Bears, or Country Bears, Pirates of the Caribbean, Carousel of Progress? I never heard of that one. This is coming from one or two factions in the company who share overlap. Other factions are scared the company is stretched thin and needs to hold spending as much as possible. Fear also exists that if relations with China deteriorate, the company could lose both Shanghai and Hong Kong. They probably will. I'm going to project they are going to lose Shanghai and Hong Kong. It's not going to be easy to operate with China in the next year or two. Things are going to change. That's from me. Not since w World War II has uncertainly, uncertainty been so high. The cost of maintaining parks during a pandemic are significantly higher, yet raising ticket prices is nearly impossible. Yeah, they cannot raise ticket prices. Oh boy. Going forward, what does this mean? One, Epcot changes are much are likely to be much less than originally planned. Two, layoffs are coming. Absolutely. Announced additions are on very long timelines. Disney World having to close again would be devastating. Well, it probably will have to. OLC and Disney relations are strained. Expect to manifest in visible ways. Oh, no. Well, they're going to have problems. Every penny counts, and cost-cutting measures can be expected within 12 months. Yet, they can plan cost-cutting measures. It just takes time to implement that. Is uh, Chapek the fall guy? Many are speculating Iger plans to use him as the scapegoat. Well, I would if I was Iger. I mean, probably. 50th celebration is essentially canceled uh, down to only things that cost little, or no new floats, no big refurbs, well, of course. Additional info on Splash. The whole Splash Mountain thing was torpedoed by Tokyo. Disney wants uh, wanted to get completely away from Song of the South, but OLC essentially told them to pound sand. 
uh, that meant they're stuck spending enormous money just to match the current quality and simultaneously not getting away from Song of the South. So uh, the only gain is uh, Tiana might get to sell better in the souvenir shop. There are more posts here talking about Song of the South and more from this guy, WW, WDW Pro. Um, the guy does sound like he has infra, inside information. Um, and, and this isn't helping either. There are, there are people streaming that uh, they're getting sick at Disney. What of? Who knows? Uh, I'll include this in the link if you want to check out those videos as well. Um, yeah, this looks crazy. Does that mean Disney will sell Star Wars? Um, I mean, Ichibaka is Mr. Star Wars. He's a lot of good Star Wars information. I still think they're going to hold on to uh, Star Wars. I, I can't see why they'd sell it. And I don't know who has the money to buy it. Maybe Apple. But uh, they suffered uh, horribly with uh, Kathleen Kennedy running Star Wars. It looks like she's going to be out by 2022. Uh, so, I mean, I, I would think they wouldn't. Tell me in the comments below if you think they're going to sell Star Wars to help raise some cash. And, and who would buy it and how much you think they'd get? What would they get? Their $4, $4 billion back, maybe? I don't know how that's going to help them right now. It's not enough money to help them anyway. I don't think they would. Uh, again, check out Disney Star Wars is dumb. Ichibaka is awesome. Everybody loves his Star Wars insight. Uh, and go ahead and check out collegeofthedead.com. That's my comic. College of the Dead's uh, graduation day is the second in the series. You can also get the first one. It's shipping immediately. And sign up for The Mermaids. Uh, Epic Mermaid Fantasy. It's Game of Thrones with Mermaids. a full-color comic. It's being announced soon, and it will ship October 2020. I will see you soon with another video, and if I don't see you, I will miss you.